thanks so much for watching. And I hope you also found it interesting to see a third horn on a kudu's head. Now, I haven't seen this before, so I had to dig a little bit deeper to find out what actually causes this. Now, what actually happens when a little embryo develops inside the embryonic sac, um, sometimes what happens is the, the little genes that are supposed and are encoded to develop a certain way, like the genes for horns, they can move to certain areas, to other, other areas. And what happens is they are then encoded to have a specific job. This is your job. You have to become a horn. So then what happens is this little piece of genetic tissue then grows into a horn. Now what happens sometimes is this then shifts down onto the bridge of the nose and it's been seen and documented a few times among some sheep and goats and kudu. So what happened was as this developing tissue then starts to develop into a horn, you start seeing a third horn. Now, thank you so much to Ian McDonald for explaining this to me. He is part and is admin of a really, really cool Facebook group, The Ecology and Managing of Kruger National Park. So look it up, it's pretty cool. So, thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe.